At 19.7%, Arkansas is tied with Mississippi as having the highest rate of food insecure households in the nation. That means Arkansans, more than almost any other Americans, are often unsure of where they'll get their next meal. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Stephanie Bryant, coming to you from the state capitol. Joining me now is Kathy Webb, the executive director of the Arkansas Hunger Relief Alliance. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you very much for having me. And when we hear about just food insecurities, the stats are all too real. How can we try and combat this problem? Yep, there are really a lot of things that we can do. And one of the most important things that we can do right now is to make sure that uh, all of the resources that are out there and that are available go to the people who need those resources. And some of those would be federal resources. And some of those things would be like vegetables that just rot in the field once the farmer has already picked all of the crop. And we're involved in both of those things in a, in a major way, in both the getting resources to the people who need them and in a glean, the gleaning program. Okay. And one thing we were talking about before was the No Kid Hungry campaign. Talk about that and how Arkansas is involved. Well, several years ago, Arkansas was ranked number one in childhood hunger, which is definitely a statistic that you don't want to have. Yeah. And a national organization called Share Our Strength launched a No Kid Hungry campaign. We were one of the states that they came to and said, look, we want to invest in Arkansas. We want to try all those things, all, uh, all these new things. And if they work, we'll take that and we'll go to other states. So one of the things that we do is we try to get all of the kids who are eligible for school breakfast to actually get that breakfast because only 50% of the kids who are eligible for free and reduced lunch and breakfast actually get breakfast. And then one of the huge problems that kids have is summer uh -huh. and on vacation, snow days. Mm -hmm. And so we work with the USDA on summer programs as well. And this year in Arkansas, we had an increase over 2012 of 1.6 million meals that were served to kids in the summer. That's 1.6 million. I don't ever get tired of saying that because that was number one in the country. Almost 25% of the total increase was from Arkansas, which mm. is gigantic. Yeah. So that means when the kids come back to school in the fall, those kids are not gonna be behind their peers. Because yeah. studies have done have been done that show that low income kids have a harder time when they come back to school in the fall, they're behind their peers because they're malnourished from the summer. So school breakfast, breakfast in the classroom, summer and after school are three of the big components of the No Kid Hungry campaign. And those are federal dollars that reimburse schools and churches and boys and girls clubs, yeah. any entity that provides those summer meals or those after school meals. And talk about quickly, how can people help? People can help in a lot of ways. Uh, they can help when we go out in the summer and do gleaning projects and help us actually gather watermelon or pick squash or pecans, those kinds of things. We do empowerment programs for low income families where we teach them how to shop and we teach people how to cook. And we need volunteers to lead grocery store tours. They're really cool, they're evidence-based programs. So lots of things people can volunteer to do. All right, great. Thank you so much, Kathy. Thank you. And for more information on today's topic, you can visit arhungeralliance.org. Today's Comcast Newsmakers guest was Kathy Webb, the Executive Director for the Arkansas Hunger Relief Alliance.